Welcome back to renovating the abandoned racetrack. Today will be the final day here of the project on the Mills County map. On the way over to the track this morning, I stopped by the local dealership to get some equipment for the weekly maintenance. I decided to go here with the John Deere Gator, the JD tractor, and a 15-foot brush mower. Let's hop here in the 2020 F450 and head over to the track. Today we will be doing a lot of finishing touches here to the overall property. The new sign is complete. We will be adding a few American flags around the property, some outhouses around the stadium seats, and we will be doing the road barriers for the track inside and outside. We will also be getting a few car ports with a few uh, car lifts as well. Over last month, month and a half, we've been hard at work here renovating the track. It's come a very long way, and it's kind of a sad day here for us finishing it up, and uh, the property will be listed for sale. Hopefully a company will come and buy the track and uh, run it as a racetrack, rent it out to the locals who want to race, but also have those big racing events every few weeks. We will be starting another project soon here, which will be a multi-part project just like this, which should be pretty awesome. And you guys can see we do have the lettering there on the sign. Not the best lettering, but it's the best we could do at the moment. So hopefully we could get a nice graphic done. But for now, it should be good enough for the new owners. And we have arrived here now. I think we'll get this uh, trailer unloaded, uh, put all of this away, and then I actually want to get this uh, trailer and the little boy loaded up uh, since today we will also be starting the process on hauling all of our equipment away. I have really enjoyed this project. It's been a ton of fun here. A lot of work we put into it, uh, video after video, and I'm really excited to see the finished project, uh, the final project. Uh, Thing today which is pretty cool so let's get the 450 turned off here let's get this unloaded and the maintenance equipment will be put in here the reason why I didn't get a fire truck or anything like that is actually the track needs to have its own safety crews that's kind of why you guys see that and let's hop up here let's hop up and there we go a little tricky to get up here and let's get attached perfect we'll get this backed off it is a little tricky when it, it's a bit tight on uh, this, but we should be good to go. Just keep backing it off. Now, this should be good enough, and I decided we'll throw these in on the deal uh, when we sell this. That might actually help us sell it a little bit faster. Now, this is an older deer here, you guys, since it looks to be a 2950. Uh, it looks to be a pretty nice one, though. So I think we'll actually leave this one outside here. It's just a little bit too big to uh, fit in there. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has overall been a little busy, but I'm really excited uh, to be with this. And I do plan to do a lot more videos uh, kind of this way, renovating. Cool things like this would be a lot of fun to do. Awesome, so we got this unloaded. I'm thinking we'll put the cat roller and also uh, the uh, front loader on. And now the front loader, I think, is probably the same weight, if not a little bit lighter than that roller. So let's put, uh, I think, actually, yeah, let's put this one on first. I just want to do is get a little bit of the equipment out of the way uh, to make it a little bit easier. Now off camera I've done quite a lot of work here to this property as well, cleaned up the last few trees, I uh, put gravel on this lot, and I completely repaired the grandstands. I was thinking why don't we uh, just tear them out, put new ones in, but well, that came out to way too much money, so I repaired these seats that were damaged and uh, that's kind of what we're going with. We do have to stay on a budget here to make a little bit of a profit because you don't want to work uh, for months on end and really uh, just uh, pretty much break even. So it looks like we will have to come back here with the low boy to probably pick up uh, probably the Volvo roller. That actually is a little bit too long for this low boy as well. So I have to bring the uh, tow trailer. Let's get this loaded up here and we'll probably just fold up the ramps and then it, I really just wanted to get this one loaded up and I think we'll hold off on the low boy until the end of today but I think the first big thing I really want to get out of the way this morning is going to be those road barriers. That's going to be a lot of work uh, placing them around the shop but we'll put that up there. Let's hop into the store and get them placed. 
Here we are in the store now. Let's kind of get these placed here. I really want this to be uh, kind of good, but it is also going to be a little tricky. So let's see what, how we could do here on it. Now, I did modify this to be a little bit longer as well. Otherwise, placing each of these individually is so much work and would just take too long. Now I would like to thank all of you guys for all the positive feedback over the months. You guys have been really awesome and especially this summer, you guys have been giving me some great ideas and really uh, showing a ton of support. Now, like I have touched on, I do have a new uh, microphone on the way. It is on back order. A lot of the pieces for it are on back order, but once it comes in, uh, we will be uh, finishing uh, setting it up and I will be using it. And looks like I actually forgot to clean up a tree here. Lots of little things uh, when you uh, kind of try to renovate an entire facility. I believe this was, uh, uh, I believe, 25 plus acres of racetrack property. It's a lot of work here. So we'll definitely have to go out there and clean those up. Doing a pretty good job here for us now. We do need these for safety. We can't just have cars flying off into uh, trees and into the uh, grandstands. Now the speeds are not that fast where we do need the catch fence, but more than likely uh, the own, new owners of this track, once someone buys it, uh, they could have that option of putting that in. Now I do plan to start a few new series here, kind of very similar to this uh, abandoned racetrack uh, renovation series, so that should be a lot of fun. And this is kind of a pretty cool mixture of construction mixed in as well, and I really do want to do uh, some construction projects from scratch, you know, building things uh, that haven't really been built before. And I think this one will go a little bit wider. That way you could come in and uh, if you were to crash, you wouldn't go into there. So we got that done up next. Let's get this corner done and do this. Now it's okay to have a little bit of grass on the outside as well. I think that might be helpful. Really do like these road barriers. They do look pretty cool and they're definitely a lot easier than placing uh, so many I always try to be efficient here, get a lot of work done in the videos, and uh, that's what we've been doing. Now I do want to have an entrance here to uh, this area, so I think we might do it on the corner. I think that's probably the game plan, or even actually, maybe on the straightaway, we'll do it. Yeah, I think back here we'll do the entrance, that way we could get in there to mow and do other things. So we'll do one there, one there, and then we'll come on this side and finish up. Wow, it's starting to look like a real racetrack, even with this uh, little uh, project we're doing here. Today will be a little bit of a longer video because we have so many little things we have to do still. We have the outhouses, we have the carports, and a few other things. Now up next, what we will actually do here is, let's see, this will be a little tricky, but I actually wanted to kind of, uh, actually we'll do this. So we'll tilt it like this, that way if someone was to crash into it, that wouldn't be bad. And here we have it guys, the entire thing is complete. Wow, that looks awesome. That was a ton of work, uh, but that is out of way. So that's awesome there. Why don't we hop in the gator and let's head around and do the outhouses. Now I'm thinking we'll go with two outhouses per a stadium. I think that's a pretty decent amount. There's two rooms in each of them as well. And uh, one male, one female. So we'll come over here. Really do like the gator. One of the reasons why I wanted this was to do it. So let's put these outhouses in and then we'll do them all. So let's go here with the outhouses. Probably one there, one there. And oh, where should we put these? We'll just put them here in the back area. And I think we'll put an extra one there, and we'll also put one, a few on this side here. This is a pretty big area. A lot of people are going to be on this side, and we should probably do it right. Perfect. We'll come over here now, put a few in. Now, this project was a very big one here. It was awesome, though, to see the big difference from when we uh, bought uh, the property to now. It's just pretty cool. This one I actually want to put over there, and I think that's the only one we'll put there. And I do want a few. I think we'll probably put one out here. We'll put one there for the uh, security team. And let's see, we'll put a few along this garage.
And we have all of the outhouses in, so that's uh, pretty good. And the last big, big thing we do need to do is the uh, carports with the uh, lifts underneath. So let's hop into store, get those uh, placed, and then we'll do a little bit of landscape work. Now these carports here I actually did scale up quite a bit as well and can we fit three? Yes we can, perfect. These car lifts here are quite a lot of money but I think it's well worth it and these you can rent out from the track and uh, each one of these I think rents out for two, three hundred a day so after a few weeks it should pretty much pay for itself. And let's do some gravel work here. Now I do kind of want the trail to kind of run right alongside here, not up against the building. I always want to give a little bit of room there, so we'll just make this and then we'll actually put concrete there. Wow, this track's coming together. And I think the final touches we'll do to it are the American flag. I think that's really the only thing we've left to do today. Wow, I thought this was going to take a lot longer than what it has. But it's always a good thing to allocate a lot more time for something and then uh, finish it early. That's a pretty good thing. A little bit of touch up gravel work we have to do. Now this concrete, because it is so big, we did have to put a few seams in it, uh, a few lines to make sure it does not crack. That's not a good thing. And nice clean gravel edge. Perfect. Let's head back here and take a quick look at it. You guys, since it looks to be a pretty good size one, and wow, that looks awesome. So each of these will rent out for two, three hundred a day. Uh, you could bring your car, you could race it, and then work on it here at the track. That's a pretty good deal, and that's probably uh, four or five hundred to do the entire day. And I think we'll just take a quick lap around, then we'll put a few flags, and uh, we'll get that excavator loaded up. Wow, you guys can see. So this track, I would probably estimate you could go maybe a hundred miles per hour on the straightaway but then you have to completely break uh, so probably around 60 70 miles per hour is probably what the average speed will be this looks awesome though you guys can see all the sod in the center is grown in along the edges and wow this uh, place is completely uh, changed and uh, hopefully we could get it going again 20 years abandoned and I think the locals will really enjoy uh, bringing their cars to race Let's put a few American flags in to show uh, the America, and then uh, we will uh, pretty much uh, get loaded up and call it a day. Let's see. So I think we'll probably put a few. Looks like we can't put any there, so we'll put one there. I do want to put a few here in the center. So one two three oh that looks pretty cool now i was looking to get maybe a custom flag with like a racetrack logo on it but i couldn't and that is okay so we'll put one there and one there now all of these will have lights on them uh, that are solar panel because you do have to have it but wow this thing looks awesome look at it from up high guys this thing looks sweet and that is all here for our renovations. Let's get the old Ford uh, uh, warmed up here, get the tongue disconnected, and put the excavator on it. Wow, I'm, I'm very excited that we were able to get this done. And it's always exciting because we could go on to a next project, do an even bigger one, and make it even better. Now, if you do have any cool ideas what we should renovate, what we should build, please let me know. And I will kind of classify this as the uh, construction series because that's pretty much what we did uh, was a lot of construction work. Actually, a lot of demolishing uh, work. And we usually didn't do that, so that's a lot of fun. What are the first, of course, here at this project? Learned a lot. Now it's time to go even bigger. And if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day along with some sneak peeks on upcoming things as well. And you guys, I get a lot of just cool pictures, cool screenshots of my gameplay as well. And actually, what we'll do is we'll go forward. I actually just realized it right there, and then we'll just rotate this completely around. Oh yeah, there we go. We're going to lower down, and perfect. I do say that quite a lot there, but uh, we did do a pretty good job doing that. Let's get this backed up here, get it attached, and that is it here. After a month, month and a half here, working every day at the track, we were able to completely renovate it. It has been abandoned for 20 years, but we gave it new life, and hopefully we could hear some uh, race cars on it. Maybe we could get, uh, stop by here with the Homeowner Series and have some fun. Let me know if you guys like me to do that, or some multiplayer content. You guys coming in game, racing this track that you watched me build for the last few months. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next big project and for the next video and subscribe for more.